Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to insert an image onto your web page using HTML. We're then also going to use CSS to add styling to the image which will help to make the image look more attractive and professional looking. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. So first of all you'll need to open Adobe Dreamweaver. Now you can use any text editor for this tutorial, it really doesn't matter, but I'd personally recommend you use Adobe Dreamweaver. Now as you can see I've already removed all the default code that appears when you open Adobe Dreamweaver for the first time um, for like a little fresh start for this tutorial. But before we get started on the actual code, if you just go to the desktop and create a new folder, I've already created it, called Website, and inside of there I've created a folder called Images. Inside of there I've included an image of a football which I got from Google Images and I've just titled it Football and it's a JPEG image and this is the image that we're going to be inserting onto our web page. So that needs to be any image that you want to insert onto the web page basically or images there could be more than one so we're going to go back to our code now and we're going to type the bare bones of a html document so first of all we've got the doc type html tag then we need to open the html tag open the head tag um, then we're going to open the title tag close the title tag close the head tag then open the body tag leave a few lines close the body tag and then finally close the HTML tag. Now we have the bare bones of a HTML document. Now we're going to go in between the title tags and in here you can type in anything you want, whatever you want your web page to be called. I'm going to call it inserting an image, but you can call it anything you want, whatever you want the title of the web page to be. Then we're going to go into the body tag and in here we're going to add a bit of content. So I'm going to add a heading, H1, close the h1 tag and in here you can type in anything you want whatever you want your heading to be I'm just going to call it inserting I'm um, oh, sorry inserted image um, for a bit of content then we're going to go to file save we're going to save this then within your website folder but not in the images folder that's where your images are going to be stored just in the website folder and I'm going to call um, mine index.html, you can call it whatever you want, you can call it home.html, anything, but I'd recommend you call it index.html. Save, minimize um, Dreamweaver, go into your folder, double click on index.html or whatever you called it, and then it should open in your preferred browser. And as you can see, we've got the title, inserting an image, which has been generated, and also our heading, inserted image. So everything's working so far, everything's in order and now we've got the basics of our web page so now we can get into actually adding and inserting an image and to do this we need to type the image tag which is just img and then we're going to type src which stands for source equals and then basically close it off so img stands for image um, src stands for source which is the location or file path of your image so I'm going to put in here images slash football dot jpg now the images part stands for the folder that your image is located in the football part is the name of the image I call mine football and the dot jpg extension is basically the extension of the image it might be a png it might be a jpg whatever but because mine's a jpeg I put dot jpg now if your image file is in the same folder as your HTML web page, you won't need a folder path. If um, your image is in the folder above your HTML web page, you'll need to put dot dot forward slash before it. Um, and likewise, if mine was in another folder of football after images, I'd put images slash football slash football dot jpg. Now I'm going to add another image property of alt. Um, which is just basically like an alternate name. So basically, I'm going to call this football image, which means that if the image hasn't loaded or can't load for any reason, it will just display a football image. You don't have to put that, but I like to. Then we're going to add a width property and a height property. Now, in here, we basically need to go to your image where your image is saved, and it's quite easy to find out the dimensions of your image by selecting it and then going down to the bottom of the folder and where it says dimensions 400 by 400 that is your width by height so it's quite easy to find that out so go back into your code type in the width which for mine is 400 and the height is also 400 yours may vary yours may be different then we're going to go to file and save 
go back to the browser and press refresh and you'll now see that your image has appeared in your browser on your web page okay underneath the heading so that's worked we've basically now inserted an image that's how you insert an image properly so now we're going to go back into the code and let's say we wanted to reduce the size of this image so I could half this because the height and the width are both equal I could easily reduce the image dimensions by half so I'm going to make them 200 by 200 200 width by 200 height file save and refresh in the browser and you'll see my, my image has now been halved okay now it's much smaller um, again you could increase the size you could decrease the size whatever you set that height and width to no matter what the natural image dimensions are the original image dimensions whatever you set the width and height to um, that's what um, the image will appear as in in the browser now we're going to go into the head tag and we're going to create a tag called style style type equals text slash CSS we're then going to leave a line and close the style tag now in here this is where we're going to type the CSS and this is where we're going to add style into our image now in order to add style into an element we first need to target the element so in this case it's IMG that's the tag that's the element that we're going to target so we just type IMG space open curly brace leave a line and close the curly brace and in here now we're going to create a border for this image so we're just going to type border colon 1px which stands for 1 pixel solid and then we can add any colour we want from this colour palette okay whatever colour you want your border to be and then you just okay so yeah so just select colour and then I'm basically just going to have a black border so I'm just going to type hash 000 and then semicolon to close it off okay that's one line of styling done so file save go into the browser press refresh and you'll now see a border has appeared around my image okay so the one pixel stands for a one pixel border this can be as thick as you want um, it doesn't really matter you can have five pixels two pixels but I'm going for one pixels because that seems to be standard um, solid well solid just basically means um, what type of line you want so you could have a dotted line a dashed line a solid line but I prefer solid anyway so now at the moment we are creating a border radius this just basically creates um, curved corners around your image and to do this we just type this code here it's border radius webkit border radius is for google chrome moz border radius is for mozilla firefox and border radius i believe is just for internet explorer i could be wrong and i've just assigned 20 pixels to each of those and when you're refreshing the browser as you can see it's n it's now got 20 pixels on the corners um, rounded corners so they're nice and rounded more professional and much more attractive okay so we're going to go back into the code now and we're going to add a bit more styling um, so let's say we wanted a 5 pixel border just to show you what happens file save so you just change the 1px to 5px back to the browser press refresh and as you can see now the border is much thicker it's now a 5 pixel border instead of a 1 pixel border and again obviously you can change the colour of this border to whatever you want whatever you want the colour of the border to be um, on your web page it's entirely up to you to fit in with a colour scheme or whatever um, okay so now back to the code and we're going to add a little bit more styling now um, and we're going to now add a margin and we're going to add the margin of 10 pixels around the edge of our image so file save go back to the browser and press refresh and you'll now see that the image has now got a slight margin around the outside around the edge of the image which can be useful in certain situations not all situations but in some situations it can be useful um, to separate or move the image or the element or any element wherever you're styling away from other elements around it to give it a bit of spacing um, from them so yeah so I hope um, this tutorial helped you out if it did, if you enjoyed this tutorial or you found it useful in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to be notified um, when I upload new tutorials in the future. More tutorials are coming soon. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye guys.